This movie right here is now a historical documentary, and y'all cannot convince me otherwise. Hey everybody, I'm Animal Boy, and welcome to Amazing Animal News, the show that brings you happy news about animals. To be honest with y'all, today's news isn't really, well, news. It's over a year old, but I haven't seen anyone else talk about it, and I want to talk about it, so that's what we're doing today. If you are a cultured individual, a person with refined taste, and who is well-versed in many arts and literature and intellectual concepts, then you are familiar with the 2011 masterpiece known as Rio. In this movie, uh, there's two blue macaws, and they are the last two blue macaws of their species. And scientists hook them up, and they have to go on this long romantic journey to find true love within another and save their species. To be honest, it's a very strange plot for a children's movie. In retrospect, they probably had like a lot of weird conversations following that. Back on track, and for reals this time, the birds in the movie are based off of real life animals. Spixis macaws to be specific. These birds are endemic to the Kachinga forest of northeastern Brazil and are very, very endangered. They have been highly poached for the past 200 years to the point at which they went extinct in the wild in the 1990s. Well, it was officially declared extinct in the wild in 2019, but the last one was seen in the 1990s. So I'm going with that one. However, they wouldn't stay this way for long since... Da -da -da -da, 20 Sphinxes Macaw were reintroduced into the wild of Brazil after being extinct in the wild for the past 20 years. Originally, in July of last year, eight Spixes were released into the wilds of Brazil, but the flock has been going so good that 12 more have come along to join their birdie friends. One problem with reintroducing animals that are extinct in the wild is that the animals don't really know how to, um, do wild. They don't have anything to work off of. They just really have to trust instincts and wing it. No pun intended, though. To help out the Spixis macaw, the scientists decided to employ some bird teachers. There's a similar species of parrot called Illager's macaw that lives in the same habitat as the Spixis macaws. By reintroducing the flock with a few wild Illagers, the Spixis were given natural bird teachers and that taught them how to parrot. Our resident Watson, Watson has been so inspired by this that she has decided to start her own school for birds, where she teaches birds how to do bird things. Oh, no, no, I can't. Can you? No. Thought so. Then why am I even teaching this class? Well, none of us have ever seen you fly. We thought you maybe couldn't fly as well. Give us a new perspective. Yeah, you don't even have wings. Excellent point. Oh, never in all my life have I ever been so insulted by a bunch of dodos. Oh, no offense, Bill. large reason these macaws went extinct in the wild was because of something called the exotic pet trade. For those who don't know, it is an ongoing wildlife trade that still goes on today, which involves taking animals from the wild and selling them as pets. And it can be very dangerous. There's a lot of animals that are critically endangered, but very common at the same time. And it's very weird. So just make sure 
that if you plan on buying an animal that's not a domestic animal of sorts, that you do your research and do not take something out of the wild because that is not good. Have a good day and remember folks, some people may be confused on what a Spix's macaw is related to, but I think their family is a parrot. See ya!